Rohi Malik, Lord, Lord Mayor of Banjul. Okay. Um, can you tell us what really motivated you to come over here? Yeah, first and foremost, let me say hello to your viewers and just to sum it up. I am here to compliment the efforts mm -hmm. of a fellow woman, that is Ami Jeju. And secondly, it is happening in my jurisdiction. Yeah. And anybody who knows Sohi Malik Law knows that I am always in solidarity of women mm -hmm. and youth. So it is very, very important for me to be here to show a full solidarity to the organizer that is Ami Jaju. Join Hands to Save a Baby, an initiative set by Ms. Amijadu to help improve the maternity units in the Gambia. During the luncheon, so many protocols were present, which include the mayor of Banjum, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia, Madam Fatma Chababaro. Maternal mortality is a reality that we live with each day. And despite the efforts made by our health workers, many problems still persist. It is therefore our collective responsibility to try to reduce and address these issues as a nation by working together. Uh, this occasion is very important, you know, because it's like, uh, it's all about saving lives mm -hmm. and it's a national call. So I think all hands must be on deck when it comes to nationalism, mm -hmm. you understand? Uh, it's everybody's business, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, blood donation uh, is an important, you know, component of healthcare in the Gambia. So uh, we should be very proud, you know, to, I mean, to, to, to launch such an uh, important occasion today, which is, uh, I mean, a Save a Baby uh, initiative, which is very important. And it's like we have to commend uh, Madam Jaju for coming up with such an initiative. The First Lady of Republic of the Gambia has arrived to witness the occasion, um, join hands to save the baby. We all know how important it is. Gradually she is here. Um, she's finally here, right here in the building. Welcome to the ground. Finally, the first lady has arrived peacefully. A representative from KMC, Minister of Youth and Sports, and amongst many graced the occasion, gladly they were able to encourage young people to come out and donate blood in order to save lives of Gambian women at Madonna. Happily, they were able to inform the public some of the benefits behind while donating the blood. Gambian Maternal Blood Bank. What is your message to the people um, in short cut? What will you love to, um, to put across to the audience that are actually watching you? Um, what is your message? Um, I have a speech that I will read and basically it's all about uh, encouraging the people of Banjul and by extension the Gambian people to go out intensively and donate blood. Yeah. And that, this, that will oppress, uh, that will suppress uh, the the death toll of 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 uh, women dying in in uh, when giving birth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, finally, what is your what do you have to say to the people that are present here, to the audience, um, to those who actually join hands to to do this program? Just to welcome them in Banjo. Thank you very much. achievements when it comes to join hands to save a baby um, we are actually witnessing one of those achievements today that is the launching of the national blood maternity blood bank and uh, there have been a lot of achievements um, there is a full-fledged um, maternal chair that has been constructed in Brickham Health Center thanks to join hands to save a baby and that particular structure is complete at the moment There she is, finally. She has already taken her seat, um, waiting for the program to start. We all know how important it is um, to support um, our women and, of course, and our, our baby. Um, this is one of the reasons we would love to hear from her. Uh, more details is coming live 
more videos is actually coming live. So as you're watching, please don't forget to share because it is a very, very important occasion. So the mayor is here already. Um, as you're watching, so many protocols are in the building. And we're also told that the mayor of KMC will be in the building as well. But he's yet to come. Um, so more details will be here live on BM International TV. Keep watching. And believe in me, um, helping a baby, you know, being part of the development is what, what matters. So let's donate our mothers, you know, our babies, the youth should come out. If you know that you are not sick, you are highly welcome. So this is the main idea here. You are the treasure I've been waiting for Do you know, do you know How much I really need you I they pray for the day well I can finally kiss you You know say every day I they pray for you mm, In my two days a permanent place for you That's why my heart is the big like Juju K do, do, yeah. I am a young star, beautiful, and wise enough to be your crown queen of home kids. Yes! Come and support me on 25th December, Lambert Brickama Youth Center. It's all about VM production. Ticket in advance, $50. Aggregate, $100. Wagi aduna miyakuna sona si dovi sankunam. Jaki lida fanyam. Dao si si yambu yam nafa. Nya bot kita saro. Jaki Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share our videos on your social media. As you seek my knowledge, advice and experience in this journey, rest assured that we are together in this noble cause. And I will work with you for the achievement of your goals. I am touched by the story of the founder of the organization, and I mean a majority of course. As she narrated her experience following a visit to see her brother's wife at the Birkama Health Center. Ladies and gentlemen, a misconcern of the standard of maternity ward, coupled with the predicament of how Gambian women were sacrificing their lives each day by giving birth under the manipulated maternity unit is a cause for concern, not only to her, but to all of us. I am happy to know that you have realized that government and politicians cannot provide all of the country's health needs. And therefore, it is important that in order to achieve a sustainable health care system in the Gambia, we need to come together and work as a team. Banjo City Council is a key stakeholder in the health sector, and our concern for the lives of women is of paramount importance, importance as it's stated in my political manifesto. Women and youths are a centerpiece in that manifesto, and I will do as much as it takes to stand by your side to see the success of the Gambia Maternal Blood Bank project. As a mayor of Banjul, and a board member of the Edward Small Francis Teaching Hospital, let me take this opportunity to encourage citizens of Banjul to actively donate blood to the blood bank. This will ease the continuous struggle for blood donation, which has caused a significant loss of life of many young mothers, pregnant women, and babies across the country. On a final note, ladies and gentlemen, her Excellency, Madam Fatou Babaro, Her Excellency, uh, Madam Chilene Jawara, I want to assure Ami and her team that our donors, don't, doors are open at all times and together we will contribute our quota to your noble and timely course of action. I thank you all for your attention. Assalamu alaikum once again. Of this community, we ought to support one another, beginning with our husbands, families, 
and as communities, we can also take this opportunity upon ourselves to support pregnant women and breastfeeding women in caring for their children and their health. Not only do we have to continue to improve our health delivery system, but women should also seek assistance and be willing to come forward and get the prenatal care that is recommended. Another major and constant challenges in the Gambia is lack of readily available blood for women during labor and in other emergencies. Make the Gambian Maternal Blood Initiative a valuable project that will surely save the lives of many women. These are some of the problems that we encountered throughout the country. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Modu Lamin Jack. Uh, Mr. Modu, we are here to grace um, because I'm seeing you wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, it is written that um, join hands to save a baby. And you also wear a coat. Can you tell us how, um, how vital is this occasion? Uh, this occasion is very important, you know, because it's like uh, it's all about saving lives mm -hmm. and it's a national call. So I think all hands must be on deck when it comes to nationalism. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, it's everybody's business, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, blood donation uh, is an important, you know, component of healthcare in the Gambia. So uh, we should be very proud, you know, to, I mean, to, to, to launch such an uh, important occasion today, which is, uh, I mean, uh, Save a Baby uh, initiative, which is very important. And it's like we have to commend uh, Madam Jaju for coming up with such an initiative. Yeah. yeah. So, so how do you see yourself um, in this occasion? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm delighted anyway, because it's like uh, as a lab personnel and a blood donor recruiter, it's like they are paving ways for us to have more to have a small blood for the blood bank. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's like to donate blood uh, is a privilege, but to receive yeah. when in need is a right. We have a lot of patients admitted at our health facilities who are badly in need of this commodity, which is blood. And if they don't have it, what do you think will happen? Yeah. They might die. Mm -hmm. So do we have to sit back and watch them die? No. Hell no, we shouldn't do that. So we have to welcome this idea, definitely. As each and every Gambian uh, must welcome this idea, you understand? Yeah, um, we came to realize that um, women were dying due to chai bad. Is it because um, of blood alone or is there any other issues or any other factors or if we are affecting women that we are giving back? Yes, uh, blood uh, is an important a component like I said earlier, uh, blood donation is like we don't want to uh, experience such. It should be history by now. Mm -hmm. You understand. So this is why we are trying to encourage more people to come forward to donate. We don't want to. I mean, have an empty blood bank there because yeah. it's not safe. Imagine, imagine, imagine it can occur any time. So to avoid people dying because of lack of blood, uh, such an initiative should be. I mean, welcomed. Yeah. You understand. So I, I think uh, we need to sensitize people mm -hmm. more on the effects and ideals of blood donation for transfusion. Because and what like, would be what would be your information to the people that may might be denying to give blood out and they have fresh blood, you know, blood that, um, you know, some of the youths that are not sick, you know, they don't have problems, but yet, you know, they refuse to give out blood. What is your message to them? Yo, that, that's, that's just a misconception. It's like, we have to, I mean, that's why I said we have to come forward, you know, and sensitize these people. You understand? Because most of them are misinformed. Yeah. You know, to avoid that, we must come out and, and tell them what's going on here. You understand? It's a very simple and safe procedure. Yeah. You understand? It's like uh, you will stand the chance to know your health status. Uh, you will even stand the chance to know your blood type. Yeah. And uh, after the nation, we are going to give you a blood donor type uh, that bears your blood group. And it's like with that card, you are exempted from, uh, I mean, paying certain lab fees. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the uh, importance in this is, is, is just complex. It's very wide. Okay. You understand? So, so but tell us, um, why did you actually dress like this? Because... I'm a, I'm a I'm, personnel. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a lab personnel. So we're about to start the blood drive. Okay. So people should come forward and we check their hemoglobin. Including myself? Yes, you can come forward and know your hemoglobin level, you know, your blood type, your, and your health status. It's very important, you know. Yeah. Uh, but everything is kept uh, in secret. It's confidential. Yeah. You, you are the only one to know your, your health status. Okay. You understand? But yeah. I think it's very, 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 very important. You know, it's very, very important. So you can only donate blood after every three months if you donate today. So uh, you, 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 we don't just take your, your blood like that. We have to check your hemoglobin level. Yeah. Uh, and it has to be like 13.5 uh, upwards if you are male. Mm -hmm. And the uh, blood donor age bracket is 16, between 16 to 65 years. Yeah. Donors can only donate blood up, uh, above 65 
uh, upon the approval of a senior medical doctor. Yeah. You understand? So it's a very simple procedure. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. All You're right. welcome. My name is uh, Abdullah Jaju. Abdullah Jaju, can you tell us a um, little bit about how did this association, association came about, particularly about um, joint hands to save a baby? Well, um, thank you very much. Joint Hands to Save a Baby is an organization, a charitable organization um, that has been founded by a Gambian lady um, called Amijajo, who is based in the UK. Um, she actually came up with this initiative way back in 2013 when she happened to realize that um, maternity units in this country are far below standard. So this prompted her to come up with an initiative that is to form this organization that is Joint Hands to Save a Baby. Then she formed the organization in 2013 and they started on carrying on a series of activities. Uh, among those activities is um, distributing baby clothes to maternal units in the country, renovation of maternal units, donation of uh, medical equipment to various hospitals in the Gambia. But the main focus of the organization is um, to help maternity units in this country. Okay. Yeah. So at the moment, what are the things that um, the association has been achieving since it has been set up in 2013? Can you tell us a little bit about what are some of the issues that they have achieved and you know, Gambians have actually um, recommend it? Well, um, thank you. Um, there are numerous achievements when it comes to joint hands to save a baby. Um, we are actually witnessing one of those achievements today, that is the launching of the National Blood Maternity Blood Bank. And uh, there have been a lot of achievements. Um, there is a full-fledged um, maternal chair that has been constructed in Brigham Health Center, thanks to Joint Hands to Save a Baby. And that particular structure is complete at the moment. And uh, Joint Hands to Save a Baby also um, have actually made record by making Guyam General Hospital the third hospital in this country to have a neonatal, a neonatal um, care unit. Okay. It has actually donated um, four incubators in that particular neonatal care unit mm -hmm. that are worth about I mean, six million dollars. Okay. And not only that, um, but most of the hospitals um, in rural Gambia has actually benefited from joint hands to baby, either by um, donating them with TV sets in their maternal units or by distributing baby clothes to these um, hospitals. Banjo Lending also the same thing. There are a lot of hospitals in this country that have benefited. Have supporting. Definitely. That so benefited how vital that. is um, today's occasion? Well, um, today this occasion is very, very important. It is um, a cause that is worth um, helping. Um, this particular initiative also came up in order to help mitigate um, the level of maternal mortality in the country. Because um, not long ago, organizations or groups of people have actually um, take, took the streets um, in order to protest to the government, challenging the government to take action so that um, they can bring down the rate of maternal mortality. Joint Hands to Save Baby has actually seen that um, taking the streets to protest alone is not enough. We have to come up with initiatives to help the government in order to bring down maternal mortality um, at a very, very low rate, if not to eradicate it completely. So this is why we came up with this initiative, um, uh, care of our founder, that is Amijaju, in order to form a maternal blood bank in the Gambia. And this maternal blood banks will be in all regions of the country. Today is the first launch, and later on, we will move on to other regions of the country to launch their maternal blood banks. Finally, what do you have to say to the people? Well, actually, um, my message to the people is let them come out and support such kind of initiatives. They are very, very important. All right? It is important as an individual to contribute your quota when it comes to national development. It does not matter what you actually have. All right? The little effort that you can do can actually make a great impact tomorrow. So I am urging on the general public to come and support this initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. to see you you are the treasure i've been waiting for do you know do you know how much i really need you i they pray for the day well i can finally kiss you you know say every day i pray for you mm, in my today's
a permanent place for you. That's why my heart is that big like Juju K. Juju K. I am a young star, beautiful, and wise enough to be your crown queen of home kids. Yes! Come and support me on 25th December. Left at Brikama Youth Center. It's all about VM production. To get in advance, $50. At the gate, $100. Wagi Aduna Miakuna Sona Sidomi Sankunam. Jackie Lee, the Punyam. Now, this is a young Nafa. You bought Kitasaro. Chapki Lee, the Punya, why my media waruna jaman of him to Luni. I have a young, we knew different jiggies, and I then have a basic fancy dinner. Man La Saint Gina, Alice and Makumabu Gis, and you see Brickham Youth Center on the 25th of December. Ticket advance 50 dollars, it's going to be 100 dollars. VIP, tell me 500. Allow your brain to sing. So let your heart beat the drum, forcing your pain to dance. Then you will see the beauty of home kids. This year is not an expectation. Be there or nowhere. Turn by turn, everything in life is turn by turn. Brother man, relax and wait for your turn. Everything in life is done by God. Yo, 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 I love boy, I'm Gino Gizzle. Munto, I'm Brickham, I'm Yusanta, I'm going to go Christmas Day. I'm going to go to I'm going to go you know. Time work and I'm going to go Dinin Keba, Albina. You got Dinin Keba, Musuka Buke. Talan Sabadora ne Watoti, Akano Moda. Ticket OBJ, Janna Lunga Kasi, Tal Lulu, Bundato, Dallas Keme. VIP BJ, Minketa na Wululal, na Semesta, na Malambal. Dallas Keme Lulu Darang, Alimbe Benji. Fatana, Munadinim Fatana. That is a new chapter. Don't you know that? I tell my ex boyfriend to stay away. Music is my new boyfriend. Don't you know that? Wow! Do you want to be excited by your home kids? Then come and showcase your talent and feel free from your fear. Are you worried and thinking to be happy? Then come and witness an exciting competition on the 25th December, live at Brickama Youth Center, Christmas Day. Hey, Marcus Omario once said, It is not that that we should fear. We should fear never beginning to live. When we die, our lifeline is being ruled out. When we are alive, our lifeline is like a spiral. Notice how that connects to our real experience of life. Life is full of ups and downs. It means you are alive. Twice and fun. Love and loss.